Sponsored by Adept Construction. I would like to introduce our first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner, fighting out of Phuket, Phuket Fight Club, Thailand. Trained by Renan Court with 39 fights, 31 wins, five losses, three draws, and eight wins by knockout. Barbara Agua! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, her opponent. Fighting out of Eight Blade Warriors, Jim Victoria. Trained by Superboy with 17 fights. 14 wins, three losses, and two wins by knockout. Melvin makes some noise for the homegrown. Joanne Morales. Your referee for this WBC Muay Thai Bantamweight world title will be none other than Abbas, the golden boy Amadi. <laughs> Fighters, Waikru Ramwai. And here's the tale of the tape. We have Joanne La, age 30, 53.5 kilograms, 70 fights, 14 wins for two KOs. Barbara Agua, age 27, 53 and a half kilos also, 39 fights, 31 wins, eight KOs. This is a title fight. Welcome back to the action at Rebellion Muay Thai 27. This is a word title fight. Matt, what can you tell us about these two fighters? So Barbara has been on the Muay Thai scene in Thailand for about three years, moving over permanently, and has been doing an excellent job on the entertainment scene, has fought all sorts of stadiums locally in Phuket and then moving her way up to the televised shows. She's very, very tough and trains with some phenomenal female athletes like Alicia Rodriguez. And Joan La, of course, no stranger to Rebellion Muay Thai, coming up through roots and now at the world-class level, fighting for this WBC Muay Thai Bantamweight world title. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This fight is brought to you by Adept Construction. You're watching Rebellion Muay Thai on Fox Sports. Yeah, and Barbara actually opening up very, very normal for the Phuket Fight Club fighters. They start off slow. They're very, very used to that sort of stadium style. You'll see it with other foreign athletes like Luis Kajaiba, Julio Lobo, Jaleel Barnes, all athletes from Phuket Fight Club. And you see Barbara opening up with some elbows to answer these powerful punches from Joanne La. Absolutely, Joanne La, the hometown favorite, has a huge following here at Rebellion Live. We are sold out, but uh, Barbara, oh, here we go. Some big shots opening up into the clinch. Joanne throwing leather, Barbara returning the favor. A smile on Joanne's face. And we've seen, we've seen Joanne in some really long drawn out battles mm. and she is tough as nails, but she's going to have to bring her absolute A game here if she wants to win this WBC Bantamweight World title, Matt. Yeah, so far Joanne doing a very, very good job. You know, her last fight with Soraya was absolute murder. She just picked Soraya apart, bashed her up with her hands. You know, can she do the same against Barbara? You know, so far the Brazilian has been taking damage. Again, headshots from La. But I do, you know, I've seen Barbara fight a lot before. She is a very, very tough woman. Yeah. 
And I do think that she is purposefully starting off slow. Yeah. It's a question of yeah. if she's starting off too slow, though, and taking too much punishment too early. Well, we'll find out the championships round four and five if we get there. There's only 10 seconds left in this first round of this five round battle. Superman punch there from Joanne La, and we're gonna head to the second round in just a few seconds. Oh, oh last minute sweep there, Maddie. Yeah. And here we go to the replay. Joanne La throwing leather. Barbara defending well. Yeah. Those headshots from uh, Joanne La, Matt. Yeah, definitely popping back the head of Barbara. You know, on my unofficial scorecard, I definitely give that one to Joanne. You know, just did a lot of damage very early on, but it is five rounds. It is five three-man rounds, a full Muay Thai fight, so anything can happen. A big Superman punch there. And then we see a big kick. It's caught by Barbara. Tries for the sweep and just manages to land it. Don't know, that was after the belt. Don't know if it's going to be counted. I imagine in the uh, judges' scorecards, it probably is. And you see her trainer, Renan, over in the corner there. A growing Brazilian trainer. Very, very skilled as fighters at the stadium level in Thailand. Of course, Joanne Laws trainer is very, very adept as well. Superboy, who's an Aussie legend, the older brother of Superbon. So a lot of experience in the ring here in terms of the trainers and the fighters. Round two of five. Welcome back to the action. Don't blink, ladies and gentlemen. Both of these women have a knockout capability. Yeah, it will be very interesting to see how this round plays out. I feel like Barbara is going to press forward more and press probably into the clinch. Now that she's sussed out Joanne a bit, worn some leather and has feel, felt the impact. She knows she can, I mean, she doesn't want to take too many shots, but she's been able to tolerate mm. the shots that she has copped. Yeah, and and uh, I'm impressed by the way Barbara's controlling the center of the ring here, Matt. You know, Joanne's having to move laterally around her, mm -hmm. but she's managing to close the distance and land some big headshots. Yeah, you see now Joanne starting to stalk the lioness herself, but Joanne Law still has claws. <laughs> Some unorthodox attacks from Joanne as well. We saw a flying elbow, flying Superman punch, yep. and then right there, a flying push kick. No, and some of these shots, while they're blocked by Barbara, are causing some level of impact. And she's, uh, Barbara's got her guard up nice and high. Those hands over the five rounds are going to have to drop if, um, if she keeps copying those shots. But um, I'm impressed by the way Joanne's just landing the old one too. Mm. Yeah, Joanne's hands have been a deciding factor in a lot of her fights. You know, her last fight with Soraya, she just bashed up the athlete with beautiful hands. And we're seeing a very cerebral yeah. Barbara here, but we'd just like to see her turn up the speed, turn up the volume two more notches. Because again, it's a five round fight and all rounds are scored. And there we are into the clinch and you see a great lock there from Barbara. Great balance as oh. well. Oh, that last knee going yes. up high. That is dangerous kissing the chin of Joanne. <laughs> Fantastic uh, show of balance there from both fighters. Yeah, Barbara regularly clinching with high level athletes like Jaleel Boykow Barnes and Noel and Silva over in Phuket Fight Club to stadium level fighters out in Thailand. 
A big thank you to Sainaji and Outliers for bringing another world-class show here to you tonight. Rebellion. Yeah, a much better second round so far from Barbara. But, you know, I think this second round might be a bit more even. Well, Barbara doesn't stop coming forward, Matt, mm -hmm. and that's going to uh, score well. We're going to go to the third round. What will we see from both of these world-class fighters? Welcome back to the action. Barbara moves to the center of the ring. She was ready to rock and roll before the round even started here, Matt. Yeah. And she's on the attack. Yeah, you saw a little bit of it in the eyes in the last round coming out. Joanne just looked a little worried here. I think this is a good reason to worry because Barbara is getting sent onto her and start damaging her in the clinch. You know, we're seeing it here. You, you see on the camera, the, a little bit of a look of loss in Joe's eyes. Well, Barbara is absolutely on the hunt here. Yeah, you can see that Joe and Lars' mouth is uh, open, breathing a little bit heavily. She was really active in that first round, active again in the second round, and now Barbara. Yeah, getting into the clinch, scoring some effective knees, but also that just a clinch control that body on body, especially that upper body is going to tire out, Joe. You know, it's only a minute into this round and you already see fatigue on Joe's yeah. face. This is not boding well for the Lioness. No, not if she's going to have to move into the fourth and fifth rounds here in this world yeah. oh. title fight. Yeah, you see this lock from Barbara, so dominant, yeah. showing real control. And it's going to take a lot of the sting out of her attacks. Yeah, Barbara just seems to be the stronger of the fighter oh. in this third round here, Matt. And you saw Barbara right there take Joe's back. That's a clear sign of dominance. Well, it looks like uh, the Brigitte is uh, locked on. The, well, it, taking the back doesn't necessarily score, as in terms of impact, it will you know, sway the judges. It looks like there might be a little bit of a malfunction with the yep. armbands there. Just, uh, so Avis uh, calling very wisely to move, yeah, yeah. remove the uh, armband, which is uh, trailing through the ring. As always, fighter safety is paramount. The crowd's crying for action <laughs> here, Matty. A big thank you to Adept Construction for bringing this fight to us tonight. Back into the action. Yeah, and you saw how game Barbara looked yeah. as the referee was bringing them together. Excellent push kick from her. Joe moving laterally, trying to stay away from 
Barbara, but can the Brazilian clincher take her down here? And we see it here. The posture yeah. is getting broken by Joanne Law. Oh, nice hands from Joe. You know, definitely getting crowd support. But didn't really but damage Barbara. That's it. Barbara doesn't seem to mind at all. She's just like the Terminator. Just fierceness in her eyes, moving forward, great ring control. And Joanne Lars just throwing everything in the kitchen sink at her. Yeah. Big Superman punch there lands. Barbara shakes it off, returns a body shot back into the clinch where Barbara's just been so dominant. Yeah. But what we're seeing here is just impact from Barbara yeah. in terms of just the lock. It's that grueling lock on Joe that is like just sapping the energy and life out of the Lioness. Absolutely. Well called, Matt. We will move to the fourth of five rounds. And here we go back to the action on the replay. You see Barbara just walking her down, just applying so much pressure and putting that headlock in the clinch, putting all of her weight leaning heavily on Joanne La and forcing Joanne La to take all of her weight, as you said at the end of the last round, just sapping the energy of Joanne La. Yeah, well, Joe did reply back with effective shots, landed something. It didn't really look like it had much of an impact, you know, considering if you compare it to like these locks from Barbara, you know, the knees just look like they're soul sucking. <laughs> There you have it. Yeah, great, des great description from Matt Lucas, ladies and gentlemen. Fourth of five rounds. This is a world title fight for the WBC Muay Thai Bantamweight Champion. Yeah, and we see Joe using her lateral movement, trying to run away yes. from Barbara here. That's it. And Barbara's just cutting off the ring, yeah. which has been the case for the last couple of rounds. Moving forward and just dominating in the clinch, punishing Joanne La. Joanne La so tough, copying all of this punishment, but still oh. firing away. Great knee oh. there. Yeah, these are the destructive knees that are going to really count from Barbara. You know, Joe does okay on the outside. Sit down back. But when they get engaged, when Barbara is able to really lock in and sink her teeth into Joe, it's a completely different story. Absolutely. As you mentioned, Joanne La throwing a lot of uh, energy into that first and second round, starting to wear down as Barbara just seems to get stronger and stronger. Yeah, we see Barbara chasing her down still. She's effectively blocking, but some of these shots are doing a little bit of impact. So it'll be interesting to see how the judges are scoring this. Absolutely. I would not want to be judging this fight. Oh, and a oh. trip there from uh, a fall there from Joanne Lard. Don't think that that might have scored, yeah, but you never know. A little bit of a late kick there from Barbara. And we know from previous fights that Joanne La has got the tenacity, got the drive, got the conditioning and the will to take the take a fight right to the last moment. But she's certainly having to dig deep. Yeah, there's the lock. You know, now it's about how much damage Barbara can do to her. So again, so effective with the escape. Yeah, and we're seeing a uh, rapidly depleting Joe, even though she's still utilizing her weapons and doing well, like her posture, you know, the yes. way she's standing, 
just yeah. does not look well. Well, she's always on the back foot, yeah. isn't she, Matt? She's on the back foot. That said, she is scoring at times. Yeah. So yeah. it's going to be interesting the way the judges are viewing these physical signs with how she's doing damage as well. And again, oh, and there, there's like a huge taking the back, unanswered knees. Just such domination, yep. such an exertion of one's will over the other. But again, Joanne Lars still firing away, still oh. a big right elbow there from Barbara Agua. Yeah, and now Barbara is starting yeah. to piece her, especially with these hands. Beautiful right knee there from Barbara. Barbara can smell blood. I think yeah. she's wearing down Joanne La. We're going to go to the fifth and final <laughs> round. We go to the replay, Joanne La firing away, and Barbara just grabbing her like a boa constrictor, wrapping her up, and just exerting all of the weight and will. Big knee there, and followed by her right hand, Joanne La copying it, and wondering what's coming next. Yeah, a little bit of a late kick there from Barbara. You see the referee Warner. There's one of the shots that landed as Barbara was coming in, but Barbara is just wearing them and is unfazed. In yep. the first round, they had impact. Yeah. Now yep. they seem like you know, a little bit of a flick of the kitten's paw. That's it. Well said, Mr. Matt Lucas. This is the fifth and final round. Only one warrior can take away the WBC Muay Thai Bantamweight World Title. Is it going to be Joanne La? Is it going to be Barbara Agua? Only time will tell. Yeah, it's going to be a very interesting final round. You know, I think Joe definitely had the opening round, potentially the second round. You know, it's all about if Barbara can catch her here. And Joe's putting together some great combinations, Matt. But yeah. Barbara just keeps walking forward, copying whatever comes, and battling away. Yeah, and defensively, she's doing a decent job of blocking some of these attacks. They're not really having that much of an impact. Here's that lock. Nice knee there from Barbara. So doing a good job there of getting out. But we, we saw it like in the last round, the last 30 seconds or so, Joe just ran out of gas. Yeah. Big left right there from Joanne. Barbara doesn't mind at all, keeps moving forward. Swing and a miss, swing and a miss. Here we go, some body kicks to the landing. Yeah, definitely a world title caliber fight here. Joe getting almost locked into the corner. Barbara on the hunt still. Superman punch. But Barbara doesn't mind at all. She has got the termin determination in her eyes. Oh. Has Barbara Agua. Yeah, now Barbara's hands are doing a good job and landing clean with some impact. You know, these kicks from... Oh, Joanne beautiful are... elbow exchange there. The crowd absolutely electric here in a sold-out show tonight at Rebellion. Oh. 27. Barbara Agua wants the W. Joanne Lars throwing everything she has at Barbara to take it. 
Yeah, a minute left, and Berber still on the hunt. Has not been as successful blocking her. That said, here it is. Here's that lock. Here's those knees. Here's that punishment. Joanne flaking with these kicks. You know, as she steps away, trying to avoid the onslaught that is Barbara Aguilar. Big right hand. Final 30 seconds. Final 30 seconds. Only half a minute left in it, ladies and gentlemen. Still anybody's fight. Barbara Aguilar. Joe oh. Aguilar back into the clinch. Throwing those knees. Landing, landing. Joanne La stuck up against the ropes. And Abbas Amadi moving both fighters yeah, into, you, in the ring. You see how diminished he looks there. It's not, the fight's not over yet. And I think uh, Abbas Amadi thought that the fight was over. Yeah. And it is over, ladies and gentlemen. Both fighters celebrating. They think that they've both got the win. Who knows? Back to the action here in the replay. Joanne La firing away. Barbara Agua does not mind one bit, just moving forward, imposing her will on Joanne La. Nice big overhand right there. And returned with a short, sharp elbow from Joanne La. Yeah, what a fight. It's gonna be interesting to see which way this one goes. I definitely had Barbara at three and four in the fifth round. You know, maybe the activity of Joe got her something. I don't know. The first round definitely yeah, went to Joe. Absolutely. I would not want to call this one, Matt, but I'll tell you what. Regardless of what outcome, I want to see a rematch. These two warriors here tonight at Rebellion Muay Thai 27. We're from the Dark Construction. Please come to the ring. Rally from the Dark Construction. Please come to the ring. Present the belt and trophy. What a fight. Rebelli Muay Thai, 27. Sponsored by Adept Construction. The judges' votes are in. The WBC, by majority point decision, the WBC Muay Thai Bantamweight World Title goes to the blue corner.